Hello friends, let's start the main course and uh, from this video we are going to start our main project. So I have opened Unity Hub and now we can click on new and as our game is 2D so we will select 2D from this section. Now we will select the name of our project and uh, for project you can name it whatever you want. I just name it Turbo Shooter uh, 2D and uh, now we will just click on create to create our project so as this game is for android so the first thing we have to do is to convert our switch platform from pc to android and after that we have to do other things in this video we will import the main assets uh, which we need for our project and i already have collected that assets in a specific folder and I will drag drop that assets into our project and I will show you that details. So let's wait for some seconds to open this project and then we will mo uh, move further. Okay, so now our project is open and you will see this uh, main uh, layout here. And because we are in 2D, so we can see our uh, scene section in a 2D form. Also, we have a game section. So first thing first we have to switch our platform uh, from pc to android so for that we will go to file build settings and then we will select android so definitely for this uh, to work you have android plugin installed and uh, in installation section i have explained that how you will install android uh, platform so now we will select android and then we will click on switch platform and it will take uh, some seconds and then our platform will be switched to android definitely you can do this later on as well after creating your assets or after even finishing your game you can convert at any time to android but uh, it is uh, it is easy to convert it initially so it will take very low time for converting otherwise you will waste a lot of time uh, when you have assets and every asset will be converted to for Android so now you can see that our Android platform uh, is available and you can see here that uh, we have some uh, hidden geometry for uh, some uh, images in editor and also some icons etc because it is unity 2019 version so for 2019 and later versions we have a lot of things uh, behind the scenes so uh, in editor folder we have a lot of assets uh, initially added by unity itself so after switching platform we will add our assets uh, for uh, our game and uh, I will show you that how you can get the assets so here you can see if you will go to uh, Google you can add 2d shooter or whatever you want you can add 2d platform for game as well for example this one is I think for game and you can move to uh, you can open these sections as well and you will find a lot of uh, ideas also you will find some platforms as well uh, which you can use right uh, in your game right away so uh, you will find a lot of ideas from these uh, images also you can uh, create your own characters if you want and uh, also you can pick some already built characters for example like uh, this one if you will see this is a shooter images and you can get these images uh, by uh, cropping these images in Photoshop and then you can utilize this shooter for your game so um, uh, we uh, Junity already have some assets as well if you want to use that pre-built assets you can do that as well you can go to unity asset store and you can download that assets uh, as well so uh, another option is unitygamedeveloper.com website where you can 
go to unity assets and you will find lot of assets here and for 2d you will also find some assets one another way to go collecting assets is uh, to go to free pick and uh, some more sites are there also for vector graphics and here you can add some uh, your search term whatever you want so if you want 2d uh, game sprites then you can uh, add to the game and if you will search you will find a lot of uh, images and vectors related to your search and definitely you can use these assets as well definitely for uh, free assets we already have some assets in asset store also from this website you can get some uh, 2d graphics like you can see 2d forest pack you can get this graphics pack you can get this uh, graphics for ui uh, this is also for 2d so you can get these assets and you can utilize these assets in your game and definitely we can create our own assets as well i will create a section uh, one more section uh, where we i will explain that how we can create our own 2d assets for this game we are utilizing some uh, assets which are available to us and uh, i will show you that how we will use them so now our platform is switched to android and uh, one more thing we have to do we will go to asset store and we no need cross platform inputs from standard assets so we will explore asset store and actually uh, my internet is a little bit slow so we will do this later on before that i will just import my assets which i have added in a folder uh, assets folder and here we have some assets for audios for surprise and 2d forest pack graveyard pa pa pack etc we will use it in our game so i will just drag drop these assets and then we will move further okay so now we have uh, imported some assets and uh, we will go to asset store and here we will search for standard assets okay because we need a cross platform inputs from standard assets and we are going to use that inputs in our course also if you want to learn more about cross uh, these mobile inputs then you can explore that section which uh, we have added in the course and you will find everything related to um, mobile inputs so now here standard assets are unity standards assets and uh, uh, these are free and if we click on import you can see that uh, everything is going to import but we will find one more tab here and from where we can uh, select our desired assets which we want for our uh, project so i don't need all the assets uh, in uh, this pack and we need only the specific assets so let's wait for some seconds and then we will move further okay so now you can see a tab here and inside this we don't need all the assets so i will just uncheck this icon and then we will move further uh, and we will see that what asset we need for our project so uh, we will exp uh, come here uh, we also don't need these sample scenes and uh, then uh, we don't need these scripts as well and we need only the cross platform inputs so uh, moving further here we have standard assets we will just uh, uncheck these as well and uh, okay and then hopefully now we will find cross platform inputs so here you can see cross platform inputs so we will just check this uh, section and in this section we have uh, these scripts which we are going to use and we have some sprites as well if you don't need you can uncheck but uh, just leave it like this and also we need editor cross platform input folder okay so here 
so we will check this item as well and then we will click on import so it will import the specific assets in our project and uh, that's it for this video and in next video we will move further to create our of level and uh, actually i will show you the uh, assets here so you can uh, get an idea that what type of assets i have imported in our project and then we will move further so okay so now required things are imported and now we can go to scene and start our uh, project so before that uh, you will see uh, that we i have just imported imported these assets if we open these assets you can see different type of sprites inside different uh, folders and here we have these backgrounds these trees etc if we drag drop it here you can see this is a nice sprite so uh, we will use these sprites to create our levels in next uh, in upcoming videos also we have this graveyard bag in which we have a lot of uh, sprites actually these are the images which we will combine to create a, a level okay so uh, these are very nice uh, assets also we have this uh, adventure sprite packs and uh, uh, you can open the PNG and here you can see different type of uh, characters like uh, this is the bird this is a beetle uh, character with uh, different sprites and I will show you that uh, why these uh, 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 this section has a lot of sprites and how we will create animations from these sprites as well and uh, uh, also we have uh, uh, characters as well but we will not use these character in our game uh, because I want to create our own characters uh, so for learning purpose uh, so you will get an idea that if you don't have any sprite then how you can still create a game so here you can see uh, I have uh, opened the Google and I have searched some characters for a idea and uh, uh, I just choose to this character and this one and this one so we will create these three characters uh, for our game and definitely we will have character select system in our game and the level lock on box system as well so uh, you are going to learn a lot in uh, upcoming videos so in next video we will create our character and i will show you that how we will create that in photoshop so let's uh, meet in next video goodbye